I'm Zor. Welcome to Unizor Education. Um, today's topic is a problem for uh, mathematical induction. This will be problem number two. Uh, okay, so here is the problem. Um, uh, before we were talking about certain algebraic formulas. Uh, like left part is equal to right part, for instance, sum from 1 to n is equal to whatever the uh, expression was on the right, and we were trying to prove this equality using the method of mathematical induction. Uh, not only these equalities can be proven. Uh, this problem will be about inequality. I would like to, in uh, to prove an inequality of the following type, that n factorial is greater than 2 to the power of n. Now, by the way, n factorial is 1 times 2 times 3, etc. times n. And obviously, 2 to the power of n is 2 times 2 times 2. n times, and this is also n numbers from 1 to n. So the multiplication of n numbers from 1 to n is greater than multiplication of numbers uh, of n, n times uh, uh, repeated number 2. Okay, so this is the problem, and I would like you to prove it using the method of mathematical induction. Um, by the way, let me just give you a little hint. If you will start checking this formula for n is equal to 1, or even 2, or even 3, it will be wrong. But basically, you feel that the more numbers on the left, the more uh, the bigger the number n is. We are multiplying by a bigger and bigger number. So this thing is growing quite fast. This thing is growing with the same speed. It's always times 2. So eventually, this number should be greater than this number. We all feel this type. However, for initial number uh, 1, 2, or even 3, this is not true. So the hint is that the first step in the mathematical induction, which is checking the, number, the formula for a certain specific initial value, this initial value should not be 1 in this case. It should be greater than 1. Actually, it's 4 or 5 or something. Because this formula, which we would like to prove, is supposed to be valid for big number n's. Any big number bigger than something. So this is the problem. Prove this formula for n greater or equal than 4. So 4 becomes your initial value. Uh, perfect spot to pause the video and uh, think about this yourself. Try to prove this inequality using the method of mathematical induction. And, uh, and then you can uh, click the play button again and I will continue with a solution to this problem. Okay, so mathematical, mathematical induction, three steps. Step number one, check. For n equals to four. Okay, for n equals four, n factorial, equals 1 times 2 times 3 times 4 equals to 24. 2 times n equals 2. 2 to the 4th degree, which is 16. Obviously, 24 is greater than 16. So the formula is true for n equals to 4. Check. Step number two, assume for n equals to k. Okay, so we assume that k factorial is greater than 2 to the kth degree. 3. Let n equals to k plus 1. We have to prove that the formula is true for n is equal to k plus 1. On the left, we will have k plus 1 factorial 
formula with n equals to k plus 1 is k plus 1, one factorial. What is k plus 1 factorial? It's 1 times 2 times etc. times k and times k plus 1. Right? That's what k plus 1 factorial is by definition. Now, notice that these multiplied together give you k factorial. So k plus 1 factorial is actually a k factorial times k plus 1. Now we can use our assumption. This is our assumption. That k factorial is greater than 2 to the k. Greater than. So instead of k factorial, we put 2 to the power of k times k plus 1. Now, k is at least greater than 4, right? So k plus 1 is definitely greater than 2. So it's greater than 2 to the k's time 2, which is equal to 2 to the power of k. Basically, we have, sorry, k plus 1. k plus 1. So that's what we have proven, that the k plus 1 factorial is greater equal, 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 greater, and greater again, than 2 to the k plus 1. That's it. So, we checked, we assumed for n is equal to k, and then we proved that for n equal to k plus 1, this formula, this inequality, uh, is valid. And now, again, we don't write it down, but we always say it, or at least we think about this, that considering we checked that the formula is true for n equals to 4, and considering that we can step always from k to k plus 1, therefore we can step from n is equal to 4 to n is equal to 5. Because our assumption is based on n is equal to 4, and from this assumption we proved that it's true for k plus 1, so, therefore, we proved for, five, for, for n, equal, n equal to 5. From 5 to 6, from 6 to 7, etc. So, the formula is true for any n greater than 4 up to infinity. Well, that concludes this problem number 2. Thank you.